Hello everyone and welcome back to Rise of Kingdom video. My name is Legend Ronnie and today I want to give you an update about my KVK in 1415 and my alt's KVK in 2064. It has been a while since I've been talking about these uh, two KVKs or done an update about it and I'm pretty sure some of you want a little bit of information like hey what the hell is going on here? What are you guys doing there? What is the situation? So I'm gonna go in 14.15 first and I'm gonna explain about this KVK. Right now what is happening which is waiting for the level 7 pass open. If you kept tracking about this KVK on what happened in the past, we won both zones north and left. And apparently the three kingdoms are still Imperium, the three Imperiums that are part of this KVK and there you have it. So what happened is that the Earth camp and the water camp, they both went on the fire camp. The fire camp lost on the first zone, on zone 4, against the earth camp. I think people call it zone 5. I like to call it zone 4 because that's the level of the pass that opens. So whichever level you want to call it. And after they lost on that side, they went on the water side because the water had no resistance. So they just built all the way up and obviously they pushed the water back. Now we are all in the circle areas, we are waiting for the level 7 passes to open and 1916 has already prepared, looks like main alliances over there, a lot of them and main alliances over here, a lot of them, guessing that they're gonna fill the area with flags and pretty much all camp is gonna do that, it's not rocket science and fortresses. Just in case you lose activity overnight, you want something that will be able to hold overnight and those are the fortresses we haven't decided yet what exactly we want to do and i guess neither 1846 but 1846 they already dropped two fortresses over there we also had the first altar and um, 1846 they pushed heavily on 1916 or the fire camp so the earth camp they just crushed or I would say not really crushed because the fire camp went on the water camp as well. So they kind of split their forces. If they would have sent all their forces one side, might have been a different course of action. But 1846, they sent everything they have. So I guess that it's a huge grudge against the fire camp. <laughs> I would call it like that. And they took the, the altar because 1916 gave up before the altar even opened. Obviously, uh, the fire camp didn't give up, so they went on the water side. And the water side, at the beginning, they done some very nice maneuvers and very nice strategy how to combat the fire camp. But then, I don't know what just happened, I couldn't really keep track of it. They just got overwhelmed. And um, 1916 got the altar. So the water camp didn't get any altar, 1846 got one altar, and 1415 got two altars. There was no resistance on the water altar on this side and uh, 1846 they just came in and said hello and we said hello back as well because they had no resistance anymore and there was still like half an hour until the altar was opening or something like that so in a rush decision they just migrated here they made the murder ball and tried to put resistance maybe try to deny us not to take the altar but it was not enough for that moment. So yeah, just said hello. What's gonna happen on the next altar is definitely gonna be interesting. So stay tuned, I'm pretty sure Flesh is gonna stream that. I cannot stream because I coordinate and I need to talk in voice chat and I'm not sure how much Flesh is showing about the markers, but anyway, I need to talk in voice chat. So I cannot stream and stream muted because I'm coordinating the action in there it's just like that so it is what it is can't have everything i guess so this is uh, what the situation is right now as a prediction the earth camp the fire camp and the one camp which is us will meet in kingsland because come on these passes imperium kingdoms they can hold for three days and i think this is where it's going to be the decisive battle even though i'm expecting resistances along the way even once you get into the, their area and you start burning their flags, I'm expecting resistances all the time and so on. Or if they get in our area, I mean, I, I don't know what I would do. 
because I'm pretty sure I'm not sure the water camp is prepared for this magnitude of battles. I mean, they are definitely doing their part, and I can tell you one thing: considering that they're not Imperium kingdoms, they are doing really good. Um, even when the, they got pushed back, or even when they were in the north side, from what I have seen, they they were doing pretty decent. And um, let's see how they will do over here, because now is the time when troops will die. So far, it was a lot of field battling, except the fire camp. Fire camp definitely did lost a lot of troops overall, but in general, it was mostly just field fighting. The millions and tens of millions and hundreds of millions of dead troops will come on the level 7 passes and onwards so obviously stay tuned on that because the fog will be explored when the level 7 passes open so even if i don't stream you'll be able to watch make sure you remember this c11063 and you'll be able to watch the action live from wherever you are now let's go ahead and let's check my alt account and uh, Let's give you an update what's going on there as well in 2064. So the update is that I'm very low on power. <laughs> I lost a large amount of troops. Not very happy about that idea, but hey, you know, it's KVK in the end, right? So this KVK is S31038, Max Nebuchadnezzar. If you didn't watch the live stream when I was... Uh, Max in the Buchanazer. I used him for rally non-stop just to give you a quick peek. 37,000 archers, nothing in hospital, so hospital is clear. 104,000 infantry, because I was garrisoning with Zenobia non-stop. Sending rally archers, and yeah, it's been crazy. They have been putting a lot of resistance. I was not expecting them to put so much resistance. I do keep my T5s because... I like to feel fight. I don't see a reason to kill my troops in such a way that I cannot feel fight. So that is that. I like my feel fighting marches. So there is a limit how much troops I can kill. But hey, I'm nearly at 10 million dead with this alt account. So I think I'm pretty solid. Almost 1.7 billion kill points. I'm rank 3 in contribution right now as far as I know. Or maybe I jumped another rank, rank 2. Anyway... Rank 3 in contribution overall with an alt account, I think that's pretty banging. So we got past the level 8. I do have to say that when I ended the stream, because I did stream the level 8 pass with uh, those juicy rallies and, and so on, we had quite a bit of a fight. I fought until 7 in the morning. Obviously, I didn't stream. It was just me and a hand of, handful of people coordinating here. We just had like a couple of flags. That's it. And we even got disconnected once. It, it was madness. Because we got disconnected. And everyone was off tile. We, we were rallied. I even got rallied myself. Yeah, it, like I said, it was madness. A lot of coordination and um, a lot of things were happening. And we prevailed in the end. I was jumping with Zenobia in three flags. Three flags. I was moving Zenobia from a flag to another. Pretty crazy. Rallying a flag, sending two rallies, one rally decoy, one rally <laughs> was going in. Yo, listen, we made it work in the end and we got through. So all their zone, I don't know, six, how you call it? Anyway, or zone seven. Yeah, this zone is done. It's ours. And uh, what is next is it's level nine passes and getting inside, you know, get the last things done. They are trying to deny us to get the this, what's it called, Crusader Camp? Yeah, Crusader Camp. But it doesn't matter, because we need this by the end of the KVK. We have plenty of time to burn all these fortresses. I don't know why they're building so many fortresses. We will burn it in the end, burn all the fortresses and, and get at as well. It's not going to be any problem, so we're winning. It's looking all great. Our allies are also pushing in. Uh, 2058 and uh, 2046 and we have um, 2042 on this side also pushing so it's all looking really great definitely going to be some action on this level 9 passes but it's late so i will not be able to stream it we're definitely going to win it i'm uh, pretty sure of it so that's the update i'm winning on my alt kvk2 we won kvk3 we're winning as well 
and we're getting a lot of rewards obviously because we put in a lot of effort and so on what else on my main account it's still undecided the big war is about to start in about a week eight days let me just uh, go back to my main since i'm talking about him so in about seven eight days so if it's nine days that might be like tuesday i know the time is 1820 someone said the time but i don't know exactly the day so it's either tuesday or wednesday or monday from monday to wednesday next week and no not next week in two weeks i'm sorry i'm not gonna miss confusion in two weeks time so if you want to watch uh, what's gonna happen on the level seven passes i think it's gonna be so much crashing and so much lag it's gonna be unreal so many marchers in a very tight spot for a path fighting for a pass uh three days is gonna be that just kill me now i so hate that yeah i'm not gonna lie yo i not enjoy passes as much as i enjoy flag fighting it's just too crowded too crowded for me anyways let me know what you think who is going to win this kvk what is going to happen in 14 15 kvk i want to hear predictions because i already said my prediction that uh, fire earth and wind will get in kingsland and there's going to be the decisive battle i mean uh, don't get me wrong there is a way how water can get into Kingsland as well, but I'm not sure if they really committed and up to the task to actually get it done to get there. So we will see. We will find out soon. Until next time, this is your boy Jeroni signing off. Peace out, yo, and take care. See you on the next one and stay safe out there, my friends.